Welcome, welcome, welcome to Lexi's first. Why am I talking in third person? That's, I hate people that do that. Welcome to my cocktails and critiques, okay? Where I sip a little and talk about the script a little. Now, I'm going to be reviewing Netflix original series. There's a few of them. They seem like they're coming out with something new like four times a week. And so I'm gonna be all on top of it for you. Hold on, please. It's time to take a sip. Delish. Let's move on. Several things have come out. So let's start with, what do we wanna start? I think I wanna start with Damsel. Damsel is a dark fantasy film directed by Juan Carlos Fresnadillo. I don't, I don't know. Who the, I don't know who the director is. Okay, I don't know. I love a good dark fantasy. Like you know, I, I watch Game of Thrones. Um, oh my gosh, what was the what was the other one? It'll come to me in a minute. Uh, that was equally as good as Game of Thrones. Mike will tell me about it. Oh, I can't believe I'm forget. This was one of my favorite shows. But anyway. Um, and, and sometimes I'll watch something that is a little off the beaten path. This was definitely that. They just kept putting it in our face over and over. Damsel, damsel. Every time you turn on Netflix, damsel, damsel, damsel. So I said, okay, let me, let me take a look at it. Now, it features Millie Bobby Brown. I can't believe that's her name. <laughs> actress, Millie Bobby Brown. She is the wonderful actress on Stranger Things. Stranger Things was my show. We could talk about that at another time, but she is an amazing young actress. She's so awesome. She, she has the best screams. She cries on demand. Love her. She plays the character called L.O.D. Um, and she's a British actress. She's, she's, that girl can act, okay? Theater was my minor in college, but this girl, she got it. She's okay. So this is what the story is about. It's about a young woman who, uh, upon accepting a marriage proposal, discovers that she is chosen to fulfill an ancient royal debt as uh, as a sacrifice to a dragon. I'm not spoiling this. This is in the trailer. And the film uh, is set against a backdrop of betrayal and survival and all of this good stuff. It has a lot of great actors in it. It's, it is dark. It is dark, but it's whimsical too. So it's it's a lot of fun. Um, now, this came out in March 8th and it got mixed reviews. I, I can see why, because although she did a great, great job, uh, and it's look like they spent some money on this, especially for the, the effects, the special effects and all of that. The dragon was awesome. I love the beast. The beast was top tier. Okay. And it really held my attention. It really did. The only problem that I had is that she looked too good for the circumstance. Like she, she was given a lot of, you know, eyeliner. So it wasn't giving, you know, distressed and tragedy. It wasn't, it wasn't giving all that I needed to give or that, but I really did enjoy it. I think it's a good, I think it's, okay, I'm going to give it, I'm going to grade it without spoiling it. I don't want to spoil the whole thing, but it was, it was good. I would give it a, a B minus, a B minus minus, because it's not a C. It's, it was first class. It's really good. Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it that. And I don't want to tell too much about it because I'm going to, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So B minus minus. The acting was stopped here. So let's move on. Baby, listen. Can we talk about Mia Culpa? This movie features Kelly Rowland. Of course, it was written, directed, uh, thought of, and 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 put together by, and probably he did the cameras, and probably he you held the lights and did all the audio by Tyler Perry. And uh, it was about, you know, she's this defense attorney and, you know, in her quest to become partner and move up the ladder, um, she takes a case uh, for an artist by the, you know, for this artist played by Trevante Rhodes. Now, Trevante, everybody loves a good dark skinned black man. Hold on. He's giving sexy, he's giving body. He's giving, I don't care, but yet I do care. He's giving, I'm a freak. He's giving, he's, he's, he's doing a lot. 
He's doing a lot. Um, so, it's, and it has one of my favorite, 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 favorite actors in the world. I am a fan, fan, fan of Ron Rico Lee. Ron Rico Lee has played in um, Three Wives. Is that what it's called, Three Wives? Real, is that what it's called? Oh Three Wives, it's also, on, um, it's also on Netflix. But, um, oh my God, he plays in that. He's my favorite actor. He's one of my favorite actors in uh, Three three Wives Clubs. Jesus Wives Club, three, I, I'll come up with it. Anywho, he plays in that. He played on Sister Sister back in the day. He's absolutely amazing. Uh, who else is in it? Angela Robinson, she was in a, a lot of Tyler Perry stuff. Baby, the sex. <laughs> oh, please. The sex. It's crazy. It's, they got so, they have, they, I don't want to spoil it, but the sex scenes are crazy. Miss Kelly Rowland, let me tell you who the true star is. The true star of it is Kelly Rowland's wigs. A plus. Kelly Rowland's wardrobe. It's a must see for that. If you don't see it for the script, see it for what she had on. Baby, the bags, the coats. Remember, remember when Scandal came out and everybody was was going crazy about um, about um, what's oh Jesus? Maybe this is too much here because I can't remember nobody's names. Let's take a break. Cause you need to find out what's in my cup because I can't remember nobody's names. One of my favorite, favorite drinks in the whole wide world. It's not like I'm a drinker. I'm not. I'm, I'm actually like a super lightweight. Anywho, um, every now and again, your girl likes a cocktail. So my favorite cocktail in the world is an amaretto sour because it's, you know, it's, it's, if it's not fruity, I won't drink it. That's how you know I'm a lightweight. So with an amaretto sour, you got some Di Serono, which is like an amaretto flavored liqueur. You have simple syrup and real lemon juice. Now, a lot of people substitute this with sweet and sour mix. No, that's the cheap version. That's, that's what you do when you, when you super, super cheap. We're not gonna do that. We're going to take a lemon, a real lemon, and I use a lot of lemon juice, so I use a half of a lemon per drink, okay? I like to cut my, it, it's easier to squeeze when you, when you just take this off, baby. It's, and I'm gonna make enough because my assistant said that, <laughs> she's the real bartender. She really should be doing this segment. So she said, yeah, you gotta make me one too. I'm known for my amaretto sours. Like, you know, at my birthday party. I'm talking like I drink. I really don't drink, okay? So there's that. She got me this shaker. I've never used a shaker in my life. So I'm, I don't measure. That's how you know, I'm, I'm a mess. I haven't had this in so long. It's... Mike! I need you to open something! So I'm just going to, I, I don't know how much to put in. I'm just going to, we're just gonna. That might be enough. I don't even know how much that is. <laughs> and I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon. I'm gonna put it on in there. I don't, I don't like, when, when, listen, I don't like that fake lemon juice. It, it just doesn't taste as good. Making sure there's no seeds. Get that lemon juice all up in there. Mm-hmm. I like to get all that I can, so I'm gonna take both of them. Get all that good lemon juice out of there. This is top shelf, honey. Some simple syrup, and we're just gonna pop, 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 pop. That's enough. Then we're gonna throw just a few cubes of ice in there. And we're gonna put the shaker on. This is my first time using this. Okay. And we're gonna take. Oh my goodness. Just a little bit. That's for my assistant. I need something else. So I have some cherries. 
Okay, I'm gonna give her a little bit more. Put it over the cherry. Okay. Okay, now let me try it. Oh, that's good. I love a good Amarillo Sour. You should try it. Now, back to the reviews. And we're back with Miss Bella. Say hi, Bells. Say hi. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Kelly's makeup is usually when you see, you know, black women in film, their makeup be off. It's like Hollywood can't do black hair. Hollywood can't do black makeup. It's a mess. It's a disaster. It's a tragedy altogether. Let me tell you something, Kelly Rowland. I couldn't, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. She was the, she's beautiful in every scene. Lip gloss, the, the lips was popping. You know, Kelly got that lip like mine. Mine is, I got this cash register lip that it comes out and gives you change. Kelly's is cuter. It's more of a pouty. You know, she looks like a deer. She's like Bambi, but that lip be coming out, baby. That lip was glossed. It was perfect. I had to look up who her makeup artist was. Her makeup artist is Shika Daily. Shika, baby, baby, I'm a fan. That makeup was beat in every single scene. It, it had me, I was sticking and staying because of the makeup and the wardrobe and the wigs. Okay, I wanna know where Kelly got her wigs because the part was parting. It looked like scalp, period. So let's go. So is the, move, is the movie worth seeing? Let me tell you about this. So Tyler Perry's movies usually are predictable. No shade, because I'd, I'd like to be in one, but maybe I won't after I said that. It's ever gonna call me okay um but be but because he writes and directs everything he's turning out script after script after script after script for a thousand different tv shows you know on tbs and everything else plus movies uh yeah you're gonna be able to predict some this took some turns that i didn't see coming so tyler got me on this one i was so i kind of stayed tuned was like okay it also had one of my uh actresses that i really really liked in pose um, I didn't know her name before. Her name is Shannon Thornton. She played Charlize. I love her. She's just so cute. I loved her in Pose. Um, is it Pose? Yeah. No. No. It's P Valley. I knew it was something with a P. <laughs> I knew it was something with a P. And I knew it was scandalous. Pose was scandal. P Valley was scandal. She plays in P Valley. <laughs> no, I am not drunk. Jesus I swear. Christ. I'm not even buzzed. I haven't even drank a lot. I'm gonna move on. The characters came in hot. That's the only thing that I didn't like. The characters came in hot. What do I mean by that? The mother-in-law, typical. Brother-in-law, typical. Everything is typical. It's like you can see it coming. Um, mother-in-law came in so hot she didn't even build up it's like one of them loud altos in a choir where they just ah! they coming in on 10 build up give me something to build up to you know it's just like you got the the loud anointing stop give me just build me up don't come in on 10 dial it back to a 2 and get me to a 10 by the vamp but don't come in first verse on 10 that's what this did it came first first verse opening up oh. Come on, just can you can you build as soon as the scene open? Yeah, I, I, you know, build me up. So anywho, the acting was good. Some people were mid. Okay, some people were not top tier, but the storyline took some changes that I gotta I gotta give it a B because it I didn't expect it. It took it went some places, so I, I applaud it for that. Moving on, baby, the scandal. Hold on. I need some ice for this one. Hold on. Hold on. Because this, this is my show. Hold on. Love is Blind season six. I'm done. Baby, I'm done. Baby, I'm done. One of, some of my favorite shows are Married um, uh, Married at First Sight. Because nobody would ever do it. I, I wouldn't do it. Because I got to see you. I got to see you. I got to talk to you. I wouldn't take that chance. That's one of my favorite. But Love is Blind. Baby, they got Love is Blind uh, over in Asia. They got Love is Blind in Brazil. They got Love is Blind in Sweden. They got Love is Blind in America. Baby, when I saw that season six was out, I was like, I popped me some popcorn. <laughs> this season, 
is a trip. Everybody knows about AD. AD got the baddest body. I had to call Mike. Mike love a big button to smile. Mike, Mike is searching for a big button to smile all day, every day. That's my son. He's 22, in case you don't know. Let me tell you something. I showed him, I said, Mike, he came in the room. I said, look at her. Mike said, oh, oh my, oh. This girl named AD, I think her name was, Aunt, I don't know, was her name Amber? We just called her AD. Her waist is this big. She got a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of waist and a cup of booty. Period. In that order. The girl is bad. And, and she, she, she was, you know, in the pods and all that. Y'all know how the show go. And she was in the pods and she came across this guy named Clay. And I knew it and, and she said it in her own words. She said, I always choose guys that aren't good for me and they talk a good game and da 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 da. And when Clay started talking, he started talking that talk. He's the one that named her AD. He was like, what's up AD? All day, AD all day. I said, oh, here's one. And I knew it off rip. I said, he don't, he ain't, he ain't gonna like her. And he was breaking the rules. The show was called Love is Blind, not Can I See. Okay, he was asking her, so, you know, what you, what you look like? Sir, it's called, the show is called, it has blind in the title. That means shut your mouth. It means don't ask. It means we're trying to feel, figure out if we can fall in love without seeing each other, without, without knowing what each other looks like. It's just on the voice. He kept asking, how do you look? Well, you know, trying to ask a bunch of questions. She was like, nah, da, 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 So you knew he was trouble. He kept talking about his issues. And, okay, there's other couples in that, but the other couples really don't matter. As I close, on the must-see list is Squid Game, The Challenge. Baby had me in a chokehold, I was done. I don't usually watch like things with games and stuff like that, but Squid Game, the challenge was, it was like, it was reality meets games and some stuff, some was luck, but some was skill and you never know what's coming at you. So it was, it was really crazy. It's really a game of chance. It's a game of luck and it is a game of, of like who you are. Cause sometimes you're gonna have to make cutthroat decisions and it is what it is. Do you want do you want this money or not? And it starts off with 500 no 456 people and then it narrows it down quickly. <laughs> and they living in the dorms and the, uh, girl go on sit down. And it but baby, you got to have some treachery up in you if you want to win that money. I think it was 4.3 million dollars if I'm not mistaken. So that'll make you do some treacherous stuff. So anyway, y'all, that is it for my first Cocktails and Critiques, where we sip the scripts. I hope you had a good time. If so, like, share, subscribe, make sure you comment, tell everybody about it, and I'll be back probably like next week with a few more. Okay? God bless. See you next time.